All right, this is Lamont and Tony over here at Big Dog Sporting. And today we have um, an interesting video showing you guys why it's not a good idea to try to home port cylinder heads without any experience or any way to measure your gates. Um, we have some AFR 165 Renegade heads. Um, these heads retail for what did they retail for Lamont? Um, 2064 on the summit. So 2064 dollars, so basically 2100 dollars for these heads. And these heads came to us where it seems like uh, it was some previous work done on these heads. So the ports are all smooth and um, um, it looks like they did some some home porting on this um, from the eye the eye test they look decent as far as all the casting flashes off of them and, and, and whatsoever but just flowing these heads as soon as Lamont started flowing these heads and he called me down um, we looked at the flow numbers and instantly we can tell that um, some things were probably done wrong on these heads because it change the flow of these heads um, from what a hundred thousands to about 450 yeah drastically um, we port and flow a lot of these heads so we pretty much know what they are do in stock form and this head actually went backwards um, this head whoever you know cleaned it up um, they actually hurt the flow and we've been telling people you know if you don't know what you're doing or don't have any way of measuring your your gains or minuses, just leave it alone. Just, just leave it alone. You know, send it to us. Um, but here's we're gonna compare the flow that Lamont got from these particular heads that were cleaned up, um, I guess previously, versus what AFR have on their website, versus pretty much what you know we get when we flow these heads um, out the box. So if you look here um, to your left is what the head actually flow, this particular head that's been sand rolled and to the right is what AFR um, pretty much um, claim. Usually when we flow test out the box, 165 Renegades, it's pretty close to what AFR, you know, um, post on air on their website. Plus or minus, you know, depending on, you know, fixtures or whatever, but it's pretty close, especially the low lift. Now, AFR don't have the um, flow at 100,000 listed, but usually the flow at 100,000 is right around like 65 and um, 59, like 65, 66, 59. At a hundred thousands, but if you look at to your left, um, you look at from a hundred thousands all the way to four hundred thousands, and you can clearly tell that it's a significant drop in flow. Just looking at the two hundred thousands, you're looking at one fifteen, one oh seven versus one thirty five, one twenty two. That's a significant loss of flow. Same thing at 300,000. Um, to the left is 181, 136, and to the right is 200, 163. And you can kind of see things start to pick up a little bit on the intake side on the flow to the left, right around 500,000. You have 249. And AFR, you have 251. The exhaust is is really suffering on these things, um, and they don't really pick up until 600,000, and they still down. Usually, the AFR um, heads they don't flow, you know, in the 200s. These particular ones, but they're in the the 190s, 180s. Um, but the low lift and the mid lift is just 
really suffering on these. And this is one of the reasons why, guys, we tell you guys, we're not just trying to sell you a product. I mean, we have tons of customers, so, you know, that's not the issue. We're just trying to prevent you from, you know, winding up with this situation. Um, so we're definitely going to have to put in a lot of work on these particular heads because they've been previously massaged, cleaned up, or whatever you want to call it. And, you know, I mean, the flow is really hurting. Probably a good valve job and some some bowl and chamber work. I mean, they sand rolled the complete port and the chamber, so they probably just altered the chambers um, to where it hurt flow on the low lift, as well as the, the valve job. I don't know if the valve job is a stock factory valve job or maybe they they had a valve job done and the 45 was was cleaned up too much to where it took out the other angles but we'll go ahead and put our four angle on here but um this is definitely a reason why we recommend go ahead send your hairs to us because we're going to take care of you and we're going to you know, get the flow up and get the performance up in your cylinder heads. Um, kind of shocked, huh, Mark? Yeah. <laughs> From <laughs> the last set that I ever checked, mm -hmm. it's, it's totally different. Yeah, it's totally different. It's totally different. I mean, these heads, I, I don't know, guys, but <coughs> these heads, they're over $2,000, yet and still, they flow considerably less than our stage two ported Flotex. Our stage two ported Flotex, that cost a lot less than these, flow a lot more. And, you know, I mean, you guys are stuck on name brands. You gotta have this name brand, that name brand. Pretty much all cylinder heads now come out machined you know, with the latest equipment. Um, so, you know, I mean, we check everything to make sure that you're starting off with a good, a good base. But me personally, I just can't see myself spending $2,100 on a set of cylinder heads that at 600,000s flow 260 CFM, you know, um, and then you have to spend more money to get them flowing, you know, up to par. This is one of the reasons why we preach. You know, you guys just can't, we can't say it enough. You know, we, we can't say it enough. Go ahead, listen to us. We'll steer you in the right direction. We'll get you going so you can get the results without wasting money. But I don't know if this customer had these heads for a while. Um, they don't look bad i mean they were cleaned up a little bit um were they in bad shape and took them apart no okay no, not whatsoever okay so but like i said before you know we're here to help you guys make better decisions when putting on parts and building building cars and building power you know um we still get a lot of people that still don't listen <laughs> Not it's, everybody listens to everybody. Yeah, they, they they don't listen. I mean, it's like it's like if you go to, you know, a, a brain surgeon and he says we need to operate on your brain, and you say, well, no, nah, I think you're wrong. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and 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 and, and drink me some tea. <laughs> <laughs> it's like you know they don't they don't they don't listen, and we're just trying to help. But now. If you guys don't listen, you know, to our recommendations or our, 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 our part selections, I mean, that's, that's okay. You know, I mean, I'm pretty sure you're running to a big dog's customer that did listen. They'll probably kick your ass all over the track. <laughs> <laughs> and then you'll be coming back like, like that guy did. Yeah. Then you'll be coming back saying, oh, I should have listened, big dog. Yeah, you should have listened. But, you know, um, you want to add anything with mine? No, I mean, pretty much, hmm, now how can I say it? Uh-oh. 
people and their mechanics. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. We uh not too long ago we had a customer, you know, complain about a system max manifold that was actually ported. Stage two, he bought a system max from us. Now, the system max came off a running car, mm -hmm. was ported, mm -hmm. sold to him. Mm -hmm. A long time and, ago. All right, a long, actually a long time ago. Mm -hmm. And he recently contacted us. Mm -hmm. And most of our uh, manifolds are ported to the same gasket, mm -hmm. which is usually a 1250. Mm -hmm. As you can see, mm -hmm. <laughs> that's... I say 250, and, man. I say 250, dog. Well, <laughs> there's a one behind it. Everybody yeah. should know there's a hey, one behind it. Hey, but you, hey, you, you, know you know how they are. There's a one behind it. I was the one who put right. the fixture on. Right. And they decided to use, uh, what kind of gasket? It, it was a 1262 RS. The big ass gasket. <laughs> and they said, well, you poured it too much off the manifold. And the gasket can't seal to the head. Right. Well, we told the person we poured it to a 1250 gasket. Mm -hmm. and, and he still didn't want to listen to us. Right. He, he basically <laughs> believed his mechanic. And, you know, he sit there. And, you know, he kind of, kind of, I was willing to help. And I was helping up until he said we sold him a lemon. And right then and there, that's where you lost me. I mean, that's an insult. And, you know, the customer said that and because he believed and trust his mechanic. And obviously, like I told him, I said, obviously your mechanic is is not good. And just because an individual is a mechanic doesn't mean that they are knowledgeable or good with performance parts. See, if you go to a shop and say, hey, replace my my alternator and it's a factory alternator, a mechanic can pretty much do that. But if you say, hey, convert, do, a, do me a one wire conversion, then the average mechanic may not be able to do that. And this is what I was trying to explain to the customer. So I told him, I said, basically, your mechanic didn't know the difference between, you know, the right gasket and the wrong gasket. And you could, obviously you could see that. But once again, just like what happened with the, the guy in the mufflers, yes. we, we always get the blame. We always get the blame. So we're not responsible for the installation of your performance parts. Okay. We recommend taking it to a competent, knowledgeable shop that can get you going without any issues. We don't recommend taking it to some, you know, anybody, or if you don't know what you're doing, trying to tackle this in your backyard. No, take it somewhere where they can do it right. That way you won't have any problems. You'll be up and going and, you know, you, you can ride. So, but that's enough of that. You know, we're going to cut this video off. And um, so, yeah, guys, moral of the story, don't port your shit at home. Send it to us <laughs> because you'll screw it up and hurt flow. Even though it looks pretty and it's smooth, you know, it flows like ass. So um, this is Lamont and Tony. See you at the track.